hello and welcome back everybody to another youtube video in this video i will explain and solve problem set 3 fail gauge so after reading the problem we conclude that we will take input from a user uh, it's a fraction formatted as x over y and we should output the percentage rounded to the nearest integer so uh, we also have some conditions uh, as uh, x and y must be integers x cannot be greater than y and y cannot be equal to zero so uh, let's start by making our while loop so while true and let's take input from the user And put the message fraction. Okay, so the input is uh, formatted as x over y. So, as you know, the input function returns a string. So, we can use that to uh, slice and take uh, the first part for x and the second part for y and store them in variables. <coughs> So first, let's uh, find the index of the division sign and store it in a variable called index using the find method. Then, now we can slice our string. So x, let's call them x and y. x equal int starts from the beginning and ends at the index which is the division sign and y y is gonna be different because you are going to start after the index so it's index plus one and we end at the end of the string so now we have our x and y variables so let's make another variable storing the fraction so fraction equal x over y so before going any further let's uh, actually handle the errors that might happen in this block these three lines and let's for try let's do try and accept try so what are our exceptions an error that might evaluate is value error if the user inputs for example a string or a float so our first error is value error and our second error that might eval evaluate is zero division error so this error evaluates if the fraction here takes y zero so if the user inputs three over zero or any number over zero an error will evaluate here so that's why we included the fraction in this block so now we handled both errors so we want to continue if we find one i actually want to add another condition but not to the except uh, if x is greater than y sorry if x is greater than y let's actually continue and what continue does is it ends the, the iteration we are in and starts a new loop a new iteration i mean so if x here is greater than y if the user inputs for example 5 over anything less than 5 5 over 2 for example uh, this will evaluate continue so the loop will end and another the iteration will end, stop, and another iteration will begin. 
and it will begin from here so we will ask the user again for the fraction and so forth and so on so this should be enough i think for the error handling so yeah let's get out of our while loop and let's uh, handle the output let's make a variable percentage which is going to be equal the fraction multiplied by 100 oh uh, i forgot a very important line we should break here okay why we should break here because if x is not greater than y then everything worked just fine uh, x is uh, less than y the fraction is not uh, zero division or value error so we will th we want to break and continue to the line 14 if i didn't add the break the y loop will loop forever so let's continue percentage equal fraction multiplied by 100 what else yeah there were two other conditions uh, they were if the percentage is more than 99 percent it should be equal to it should output uh, if which is full i think and if the percentage is less than one percent we should output e so let's make if conditions for that if fraction is greater than 0 0.9 or we could uh, instead use percentage more than 99 it doesn't matter really we should print if and else if a fraction is less than 0 0.1 we print e otherwise we will just print the percentage and uh, notes we uh, we actually need to add the percent percentage sign after the percentage so for that i will make the percentage string so i can use the plus sign and add the percentage sign i think that's enough i think let's try out let's try let's try if the errors are being handled so 4 over 2 that's x more than y so this should ask me again for the fraction okay nice uh, what else another error is yeah if we for example put a string cat over 4 nice it asks me again uh, yeah the zero division error let's try it 2 over 0 yeah okay so let's try an example which is valid for example 2 over 4 so this should output uh, 50% nice so you see here there is a decimal point and a zero here so how to remove it i think if we put if we force this to be int it will be fixed let me try because fraction actually outputs a float here for example 2 over 4 it outputs 0 0.5 so that's a float so when there is a float is multiplied by an int the output is a float so we want to force it to be int using this the int function so the zero the decimal point and the zero should be removed let's actually try again and see that's not the file give me a second yeah uh, the, our example was 2 over 4 i think yeah it should 50 percent yeah now that's working just fine let's actually try the examples given in the problem 
let me look at it for us give me a second here yeah our first one is three over four three over four this should output 75 percent okay nice uh second example is one over four should should output 25 percent that's working mm, yeah let's try four over four this should be equal to one and the percentage is going to be 100 percent and so the output should be f great let's try i think that's the last example no no let's try zero over four that's equal to zero so the percentage is zero percent so the output should be e okay great uh, let's actually try if i want to put a fraction that outputs 99.2 or, or more than 99 percent to test this if statements so 992 over thousand uh this should be output if not the percentage because it's more than 99 percent let's try nice that's working uh have we tried all the examples so yeah that's the end of the video uh yeah and by the way this part or the, the part where we stored x and y could be done in a different approach so make sure to find out how to do it and of course don't copy the code and paste it that's cheating uh, i would really recommend trying this with a different approach yeah and thank you for watching stay tuned for upcoming videos